click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see how op-amp can be used as a comparator. So let's begin with the topic. Operational amplifiers. As its name indicates, the op-amp is basically used to amplify the signal, but when it is used only in the closed-loop configuration. Closed loop configuration is nothing but when output is given back to the input through a feedback element that is also called as feedback circuit. So when op amp is used in closed loop configuration, we can find number of applications in the field of electronics. That means we can use it as an amplifier which produces output which is exact replica of input signal but with the amplified version. It can be used as a filter, it can be used in the application like sample and hold circuit and many more. So most of the time, op-amp is preferred to be work in closed loop configuration. But op-amp can also be used in open loop configuration and one of the application of open loop configuration of op-amp is nothing but comparator. Now let's see what is comparator and how op-amp can be used as a comparator. Comparator, as its name indicates, is basically used to compare two input signal and provides output accordingly. The comparator provides either high or low output depending upon which input is higher. Now let's see how op-amp can be used as a comparator. For that, we need to consider a diagram first. So comparator is basically a circuit which is used to compare signals applied at the input terminal of the op-amp and provides output accordingly. So in the diagram, we have two input signal applied to the inverting and non-inverting terminal of the op-amp. Here, op-amp is used in open loop configuration that means no feedback is provided from output to input. Now in this case, op-amp having two input and one output. The two input signals are nothing but the input signal which is to be compared is given as one of the terminal of op-amp and the known signal that means the value which is known to the user is acts as another input to the op-amp and that voltage is called as reference voltage or V-reference. Now in the diagram the op-amp is used as a non-inverting comparator because the signal which is to be compared that means V in is applied to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp whereas the inverting terminal is connected to ground. The, as the inverting terminal is connected to ground, its value is known to the user. That means it is equal to 0 volt and therefore the voltage is called as V reference. So when op-amp is connected in this configuration, it is called as non-inverting comparator. So depending upon which input is higher, on that basis the op-amp can provide either high or low output. That means 1 or 0 which is equal to positive saturation or negative saturation as op-amp is connected in open loop configuration. So when op-amp is basically connected in open loop configuration, the output can be either positive saturation which is equal to high or negative saturation which is equal to low. Now let's see the transfer characteristics of op-amp as a comparator. The transfer characteristics is nothing but the graph between output voltage and input voltage. The output voltage is present on y-axis whereas input voltage is present on x-axis. So let's see the diagram first. In the diagram, the output voltage is on y-axis and input voltage is on x-axis. Now, as op-amp is connected in open loop configuration, we know that the open loop gain of op-amp is very high that is equal to infinity. And even if there is a small change in the input signal that can cause this large change in the output voltage. So if we look at the characteristic properly then we will come to know if the input voltage is positive but if it is in the range of 0 to A that means here the input voltage is positive but it is in the range of 0 to A then the output is a linear one as VO is equal to AV into V in where AV is called as open loop gain of op amp and V in is the input signal. If the value of input voltage is in the range of 0 to A then output voltage is linear and it is in the positive format. But when input voltage increases beyond point A that means if the input voltage increases beyond 0 0.1 then the output goes to a positive saturation. Similarly in case of negative characteristic if the input voltage is in the range of 0 to B, the output is a linear part. Whereas if the input increases beyond point B, then output goes to negative saturation. This is only because the open loop gain of op-amp is infinite which is very high. Therefore the transfer characteristic of op-amp as a comparator is similar to the transfer characteristics of op-amp in open loop configuration. 
which provides either positive or negative saturation as output. And because of this only, op amp can be used as a comparator whenever it is connected in open loop configuration. The comparator can find many applications, like it can be used as a window detector, it can be used as a zero crossing detector, it can be used as a Smith trigger, it can be also used for converting analog signal to digital signal, as it provides output in the form of high and low voltage level. That means the analog signal can be easily converted into digital signal whenever op amp is used in open loop configuration. So this is what about the op amp as a comparator in which op amp compares two input signal applied to its input terminal. Depending upon which input is higher, accordingly the op amp provides output. Now, depending upon to which terminal we are applying V in signal, there are two types of comparator, inverting comparator and non-inverting comparator. If input signal V in is applied to the inverting terminal, then the comparator is called as inverting comparator. But if the V in is applied to the non-inverting terminal, then it is called as non-inverting comparator. And depending upon that, op amp can provide either positive saturation or negative saturation at the output. So this is what about op amp as a comparator along with the transfer characteristics. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.